and welcome back to my channel. This time I'm going to do an English tutorial on the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Primrose palette. As you guys requested on TikTok and Instagram, you wanted an in-depth tutorial on this eyeshadow look that I did. And I hope this is not going to be too awkward talking to you in English. And uh, I hope you don't notice this slightly German accent over here. We are going to create this eyeshadow look with this beautiful palette and it comes with 10 different eyeshadow shades and a bronzer and a blush in here. I haven't tried the blush and the bronzer yet, but I have tried the eyeshadows and they are beautiful, especially the shimmer shades. I do wear these two on my lid today and as you can tell, we use some of these shadows. And if you are curious how I created this eyeshadow look, then keep on watching. I'm going to start the look by priming my lids and I always like to use the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. This works best for me without any creasing and the color stays vibrant on my lid during the whole day. And I can use every color on top of it. And I'm just picking up my favorite crease brush. This is Morphe M433. And I'm going to use the shade Mango and I'm placing the shadow along the outside of my crease and into my crease just to draw out the form that I like to achieve later on with the darker shades. So I'm using less product but going in twice. I prefer that so the look is going to be more clean at the end. And I'm also applying a little bit around the lower lash line with the same fluffy brush. Next we are going to draw the shape of the eyeliner that we are going to apply later on with this shade. But first we are using the color Rouge on a small pencil brush. With this color I'm going to do like, in, like a wing almost. And it doesn't have to be precise this time again. We are going to blend this anyways. So it gives us like a smoky liner effect which is very great for beginners. Going back with the brush that we used prior to this one and just going to fluff this out a little bit. I'm fading the color into the crease and onto the lid as well. And I'm going to take the same color close to the lash line again, but focusing on the outer corner of my eyes. So at this point I'm taking an angled brush, the 266 from MAC, and this is my favorite angled brush of all time. I mentioned this in my favorites brushes video already. And we are going into the darkest shade of this palette, which is called Deep Berry. And I'm going to load my brush in it. And now we are going to create a simple eyeliner like you would do with any other black product just that we are using an eyeshadow which makes it so much easier than using a liquid liner or anything else because we can correct it more easily. So we have this guideline that we created before and I'm using this brush and the shape of this brush is helping me already to create a good wing at this point. So I'm just stamping the brush, just like this, following the line upwards, holding the brush in the same position and I'm going to connect the line to the outer third, I would say. And I'm not going to apply the eyeshadow in the middle part of my lid because I like the more foxy and lifted eye. And now I'm taking the same brush and going to line the inner part of my eye. And I'm trying to stay as close to the lash line as possible. Using the same brush and the same shade and following the lower lash line. I'm trying to keep the dark color as close to the lash line as possible. Otherwise, when you drag dark colors too far down, you give your eye more like a droppy effect, if it makes sense, like your eyes look a little bit more saggy. And if you want it to look more crisp and more defined foxy, you should apply it very close to the lash line. 
So now that we applied the liner, it looks very crisp, but I like to smoke it out a little bit more and give it a little bit more depth. So I'm using the same pencil brush that we used before and I'm mixing the two colors, which is deep berry and a little bit of claret. And now I'm going to place this shadow on top of the liner, but I would say you are using the brush on half of the liner and half on your skin, if it makes sense. And now I'm going in with the fluffy brush again and blending the corners. And we're doing the same on the lower lash, but focusing again on the outer third of the lower lash line. And here it's important to go back with your flush, fluffy brush and smoke it out a little bit more. Now we're coming to the fun part. Shimmer shadows, most effective to just use your fingers because you have like this kind of oils on your hands already. And the product, like especially shimmery eyeshadows, they pick up to oils the best. And this is why I like to apply the shade Peony, or however you pronounce it. And this is going on my lid, but not on the full lid, just on the middle and the outer part, just a tiny bit. Such a beautiful shimmer shade, I love it. Can you tell how shimmery and beautiful this shade is? And I'm going in with the shade Rose Water with the same finger. And this is going on my lid. This is even more bright. I also like to apply it in the inner corners to make the eyes pop out more. With the brush, you all might know the trick. I'm going to use a little bit of setting spray. This is Anastasia's Dewy Set and it smells like pineapple. I'm going to spritz it a little bit and go into the shade Rose Water. Now we're going to apply it on the inner corners. It's popping. And just a tiny, tiny bit on the lower lash line as well. And what also makes a huge difference is applying a dark liner into your waterline. This creates more like this dark and faded kind of effect. And I'm really liking this one because I have a light side and a darker side. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury from the Nude Collection, I guess. Put this into my waterline without looking crazy. Try my best. Can you tell how much more dark and shadowy this eye looks compared to this one. And the next step is going to be mascara and lashes. Please don't judge this package is dirty because I have this package for a long long time and these lashes as well. This is a brand called Moitié, Moitié Cosmetics. It's a French brand and these lashes are kind of individual. As you can tell they're not that much of an individual lash because the band is like way larger and this is very handy to use because you can style a full lash with these ones and the application is very easy but you can also just grab individual ones that we are going to do now and create a customized look. I'm just using some lash glue. I'm using the Duo Quick Set. I'm going to put this lash on the outer half of my lash line just about here and they are so quick and easy to apply and I feel like they do make a difference in the whole look. This sums up this classic simple look and if you want to see more English tutorials then comment this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and activate this bell if you want to get notified when I drop a new video. Have a great weekend, until next time.